Okay, today we're playing X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. Uh, this is one of my favorite X-Men games, uh, when I was a youngin. Well, I guess in 1994 I was 13 years old. Something like that. Uh, I never actually beat the game, which I'm probably gonna go back and do. I actually started playing it, and, uh, it was kind of easier than I remember it to be. I guess that's because I've uh, been playing video games another 15, 16 years since then. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, the game's pretty much about the Genosian incident, you know, capturing mutants, doing experiments on them, putting them to slave labor, all that good stuff. So the first levels actually revolve around, which the first levels were actually the most highly regarded levels. One of the up arrow positives of the game when people, when uh, game magazines reviewed it back in the day, because all the all the levels were separate, all the X Men took took a different section of the island to attack, which was you know pretty strategic and actually sounded like something. Professor X would actually do. It wasn't this random level shit they throw at you with random bad guys for just the sake of having the, the bad guy in the game. So, yeah, this is pretty much the story opening. <laughs> Compared to some of the openings in the other games where it just immediately throws you into the action. Ah, it's Apocalypse. He's standing in a jail for some reason. Oh. Yeah, that, uh, it's another group shot of the X-Men taken from, uh, X-Men number one. That's X-Men number one, not uncanny X-Men number one. It's off the, it's off the uh, spread cover, the fold-out cover of X-Men number one. And yes, I'm a geek and I remember that, but whatever. If you don't like geeks, get the fuck off my channel. But yeah, this is where X-Men goes, uh, Professor X goes into the briefing and starts running down where each person's going to attack. <laughs> In my opinion, I think Psylocke has the hardest level. Well, Beast, Beast level is kind of a pain in the butt too. Beast controls like a fucking tank. Uh... And Wolverine's level is pretty easy. Gambit's level is pretty easy. Cyclops' level is kind of in the middle. I think uh, Psylocke and Beast level are the hardest. I actually, it's not in the video, but I was playing it after I stopped recording and I got to the Cyclops' boss for like the first time that I can remember pretty easily on the first try. <laughs> uh, I really need to go back and play some of these old games just to see if I could beat them. Like, some X-Men games are like have ridiculously hard difficulty, like uh, X-Men 1 for the Genesis, which, uh, yeah, has a crazy difficulty to it. And another thing that bothers me about this game, Wolverine cannot regenerate his health. Of course, I guess it would be too easy if he could, but still. That's annoying. But, uh... Here we go. Finally get into the... I really like the music in this game, too. The music in this game is pretty cool. It's all rock. <laughs> I actually did a... Uh, God, I forget I forget what what it was for, but you were supposed to do like a uh, a radio commercial. Uh, back at uh, fuck, I forget what the class was for. But yeah, but anyway, you're supposed to do a radio commercial, and you're supposed to be selling a product. 
and I recorded this this music for a video game soundtrack I was selling. But since uh, I obviously couldn't bring my Super Nintendo to uh, work, I mean to school, I decided to record the whole freaking radio commercial onto a cassette tape. I wish I still had it too. But anyway, to get to get that extra man, you have to jump up on the fucking uh, jump up on that platform with the guy and yeah, Mega Man, eat your heart out. Those wall lasers. For some reason, I could not jump and cl cling on that fucking wall. There we go. Yeah, but like Mega Man, if you if you if the enemies are off screen, uh, they'll repop. Now. a little mid-boss like Mega Man again <laughs> this game was developed by uh, Capcom so you know it's not surprising it has uh, Mega Man elements in it this boss is stupidly easy the only attack he has that is hard to avoid is uh, when he lights up and shoots forward like he's going to do right now yeah that's a pain in the butt. It also takes off a huge fucking chunk of health. There is no difficulty settings for this game, so if you can't beat it, you can't beat it. <laughs> Again, like Mega Man, no difficulty settings. There's a sentinel spine and ribcage. Sentinel arm. I really think Wolverine's attacks should have did more friggin' damage than they do in this game. But Psylocke actually has the most attacks in the game. She has a slide, a jump kick, a diving jump kick, a punch. Uh, now Cyclops, he actually has the most damaging mutant move, which is a... Uh, Pretty big pain in the ass. But, uh... This boss is easy. Basically just keep avoiding, avoiding the laser blast and hitting them when you can. And avoiding these guys. They're annoying. And you'll beat them in no time. You also have to remember that there's a uh, little... And that mission's done. I had to destroy one sentinel. Freaking beast has to fight three of them. <laughs> now I really like the music to this level too. Gambit has the cool one. He could throw the uh, playing cards in any direction. Well, not in any direction. He can only throw it straight up and straight toward him. <laughs> but he could do a single card straight or a triple card straight. So I knew that was coming. Now I don't know why, but for some reason, it keeps the recorder that I'm using keeps cutting off a portion of the screen. It's kind of get annoying. I don't know. I guess because it's such a low resolution game. I have no idea. But yeah, Gambit's level is pretty easy too, especially the boss. The boss is like laughable. It's basically a, a giant 
plane, a helicopter that has lasers to shoot downward. You gotta throw your cars upward to destroy the lasers. And once the all four of the lasers are destroyed, you can uh sh jump into the aircraft to kill the pilot. And that's the boss. <laughs> Yay for pl moving platforms. You have to really get all the way up there on top to get that freaking extra man up there. And of course, <laughs> the obligatory elevator level. Elevator section of a level, I should say. Uh, I think it was Double Dragon that made these popular in brawling games. At least that's the first one I remember uh, uh, an elevator section in. Then like, I can name like dozens of freaking <laughs> brawling games that have uh, elevator sections in them. Ooh, hate that. These guys ain't very liberal with their guns, are they? I mean, very generous with their guns. <laughs> I said the exact opposite. I got dyslexia, apparently. Apparently, Gambit has been taking karate lessons from uh, M. Bison. Got the whole bicycle kick going on. And here comes the boss. Uh, and here we go. <laughs> the sucky problem is that, uh, yeah, that they have that, uh, freaking <laughs> where you could uh, trigger your bicycle kick without doing the combo is up and attack and your uh, throwing your playing cards upward is up up and attack <laughs> so it's kind of annoying because you keep ended up doing the bicycle kick over and over again it's <laughs> The reason why this boss fight takes a little bit longer than it should. But yeah, they take about three or four playing cards each. And we're getting ready to beat the boss. <laughs> when that crash now. Nope, apparently Gambit can fly from <laughs> behind the console. I always save Psylocke and Beast level for last. Ooh, we're getting there. Now, now Cyclops again has the most powerful mutant special move, it's also the fastest. You can do it standing or ducking. It's, bas it's basically done the same way you throw a uh, Ryu can fireball. I was gonna beat this shit out of that rock like Chris, but no. But, uh... I think that's just about getting down to the end of this video. Again, if uh, you like any of my videos, please subscribe, or if not, don't subscribe. But I'll be uh, trying to upload more videos nowadays. I got plenty of games to do videos with. I have like over 6,000 video games, so uh, yeah, I got a long ways to go. But anyways, thanks for watching.